Hello, welcome. Carl Palmer here. This is the Peisty Symbol Room. And today we have for you, I brought it along, the Duo Ride 20 inch CP Virtuosity Symbol. This is an interesting symbol. It's been a dream of mine for some time. As you know, many drummers out there will tell you that, you know, one ride symbol really isn't enough. And with the demands of today's music, everybody is always looking for, for more sounds, more texture, more everything. Uh, and this symbol hopefully does that. What we have is two defined playing zones. This dark zone here being the very high pitched ride symbol that we all know about. This second half being the deeper sound, which probably relates more to sort of like metal music and a lot of heavier sort of frequencies, that kind of thing, which symbols don't always cut through in that lower frequency. But you need a symbol that's got these overtones and still got the stick definition to make it all work. So this has that. So we have this high pitched area, we have this lower pitched area, but still with definition. And one can make transitions from each area and the symbol will correct itself and you'll get the definition from whatever area you want. In other words, if we go from this lower end to the, the top end here, the stick sound will be, and instantly become that much clearer and the pitch and the tone is higher. So that's what we have. Now within the zones, there are some sweet spots which you can play on, which if you play just in front of the line here, on this gold side, you'll get a pretty good sound. The further out you go, obviously the more overtones you're going to create. And the same with the dark section. If you go about halfway in, you get a real high sort of pingy sort of jazz sound and it gets drier and drier as you go along. So let me just demonstrate the two zones first of all. Here's that high pitch sort of, uh, general ride cymbal sound which we all, we all need and love. Moving on down the cymbal to the next playing zone, this is the zone which is really for that sort of much louder music. A lot of like metal I personally love actually and that sort of heavier rock and this cymbal accommodates those frequencies for that style and type of music which is really important today. So once we get here, here we go into the second zone. You still hear plenty of stick, stick definition, but you're getting more undertone. Now that undertone will build up, and that's the idea of this cymbal, is that as you play more in this section, you get this well of sound happening, the low frequencies, but you still keep the stick sound, that definition, which is really important. So this here is really a combination of this and its own sort of built-in sound as it were. So you're getting this sound on here but with some low frequencies which are vital. Here they go, look, I'll play some straight eights and we'll just build it up and you'll hear this lower tone growing and growing and growing, which is, I think is really important to, to this part of the cymbal. Duo ride. We'll talk about the bell later. Okay, so really the, the, the secret behind this really has been to do with the lathing, because obviously this needs to be heavier in this section here, thicker, should I say possibly than here. 
Um, I didn't actually make the symbol, so I don't really know what went on, but I'm sure it's something in that region because what was very important in developing this symbol was the weight had an awful lot to do with it. And whilst I'm not too sure exactly how heavy this symbol is, um, about three kilos, it might be a little more, could be a little under, uh, depends which one you get. No, that's a joke, that's a joke. They'll all be exactly the same. But seriously, that's where the sound comes from. And because of this extra weight that's in the symbol, we do have a, a very dry sounding bell, which is really nice because it means it really will be extremely piercing. I'll just play a little bit on the bell for you, just so you hear that. As you can hear, that is very bell-like. Um, there's a lot of symbols that when you play the bell, the whole symbol vibrates. Because of the extra weight in this symbol, this bell is quite dry, which means it's going to penetrate through the music at the right amount of intensity, which we all need. Anyway, that is the, um, that's the duo ride. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Please go and check it out in your local shop. I like to finish off with a, a cymbal solo. I'll play some sounds from this cymbal and um, take care. See you all soon.